Hello, and welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor at The Banker. And I'm joined by James Hadley, CEO of Immersive Labs, which uses gamification to help organizations develop practical cyber skills. James, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So can you tell me a little bit about the biggest challenges that banks or financial institutions are facing in terms of the cyber threat? Yeah, sure. I think it comes down to probably about three things that we've seen recently. So the first of which is just the scale of what they're having to protect. So personal data, but also a growing estate. If we talk about like ATMs through to desktops, and we've also got increasing risk in their supply chains. So I think that combined with how quickly attackers are innovating all of the time to try and find small holes or identify business processes they can manipulate uh, to get an outcome. I think uh, finally, I think banks are trying to see return on investment from their controls in cybersecurity. Mm. So traditionally, banks have spent lots of money on technology and tools and processes, trying to understand well, what's actually stopping the attackers getting in. How can I retire things which I've spent money on which are no longer really adding value? So what we saw in that marketplace was people. How do we make people better and how do we keep them up to date with the attack? Okay, that leads on to my second question, which are really about using gamification, and maybe you can explain what that is as well, to help people actually build these cyber skills. Yeah, sure. So I think across the whole workforce, there isn't any business now that's immune from needing some cyber knowledge, some skills and experience to help reduce the organisation's overall cyber risk. I think traditionally, mechanisms that have been used to empower that have been poor, so quite dull, dated, lonely experiences where it's a race to the finish, mainly for compliance purposes. So through, through using gamification and storytelling, we can really engage people to help them develop cyber skills for both experts and for novices in a way that companies can track so they can understand what is my risk based on my people to actually have evidence rather than people going through a compliance programme. Okay, and so uh, can you explain a little bit about what gamification actually means? Yeah, sure. So as part of gamification, we want to reward the individual. So through challenge-based learning, which is something we pioneered, we uh, tell the individual what they'll need to do, but not exactly how to do it. And through self-research and curiosity, they solve problems. And in doing so, they're rewarded. And through rewarding them, we can use things like badges and points and leaderboards so they can help uh, create healthy competition between staff. Okay, uh, and how are you raising funds uh, for your startup? So we were very fortunate to get a Series A investment from Goldman Sachs in the summer of last year um, because we found traction quite quickly. So we have around 100 enterprise customers now globally. Uh, we've grown to a team of about 85 people. And because of that the customer growth, we're able to fund organic growth, which is great. Okay, and my last question is really about you used to be a GCHQ cybersecurity expert. What made you decide to move in and uh, into the startup world and, and start your own company? Um, it's a really good question. I think what I saw was from uh, becoming an instructor in cybersecurity as well is that people are most engaged when they're having to solve problems rather than being the recipient of information fed through videos or e-learning or classroom. And actually, my background working in risk and trying to qualify and quantify risk was trying to put those two things together. So how can we upskill people in a way that we can validate it and then articulate risk rather than rely on one-way directional traffic for educational purposes? I think once I had that idea in my brain, I couldn't quite let it out and I had to keep going and going and eventually the best outlay was it, well, I'm just going to go and create the product and take it to market. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming in, James. Thank you for having me.